some dirt, some actual proper just soil. Just want to make it clear, this video channel is not going to be full of product reviews and everything forever. But today, I've got my hands on the Redshift Shockstop Pro seat post. I'm trying it out right now and I just wanted to give my opinion on that one. I'm excited to try it out. So this seat post, there's two types as far as I can tell. There's a normal one, there's a pro one. The pro one doesn't, isn't it so, 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 not so soft as far as I can tell. I've got the pro one. I've tried jumping up and down on it on the spot and it hardly moves. I did manage to get like, I don't know, 15 mil of travel out of it by trying to chuck my whole body weight on it and seeing how much it moved. So it did a little bit, but just from bouncing up and down like this, you know when you check if you've got a flat on the back, uh, it doesn't, can't feel anything. So you don't think it's working. I don't think it's working. And then take it over some bumpy stuff and I'm thinking, hang on a minute, yeah. I don't feel that quite as bad. Where's the usual hammer to the gooch? Seems to be absent. So it works. Now whether you can accept how it looks, it's probably another question. Looks kind of like a robotic arm plunging you in the nether regions. A bit like that. Um, so, I mean, if you like that, that's fine. I don't think it looks too out of place on this bike. I've also got, I've got stuff strapped to it. I've got bags strapped to it. I've got mud guards strapped to it just looks messy anyway so just having a robotic fisting arm on the seat post doesn't seem to cause too much of a problem so I don't mind it that much it's quite expensive but if you've got problems with the old saddle comfort maybe it's worth it I don't know oh I think I just got pooed on by a bird oh um I think they're clever products those. I've got the stem and I've got the seat post and I'm trying them out right now. I'm gonna to continue to ride with them on long rides. We'll see how successful they are in the long ride situation. I've only done some short ones at the moment, but at the moment they're very promising. As long as you can get past the aesthetics. They also weigh a bit more. That's the other thing I didn't mention. I did weigh I did weigh some stuff to figure out the maps on it. So it's, uh, they're definitely heavier. This pro seat post has hollow pins in it, in the joints and other things, which make it lighter than the last version. Whether that matters to me or not, I don't know. I've only just, I've just swapped out a Van Nicola standard aluminium seat post with this one. So um, I'll see if I can figure out what the weight penalty was. I'm guessing about 150 grams on the seat post and maybe 100 grams on the stem. Um, I'll let you know. Hope you enjoyed this video. Product review from Watkins. Um, pretty budget, sorry about that. And it, uh, I won't make a habit of it. I just thought these were very interesting things. Other things like headlights, battery headlights, backpacks people from the internet contact me and say can you make a video about it? no i'm not really not really too bothered but when it comes to suspension seat posts and, and stems i did get interested hence the video hope you enjoyed it watch out for gout see you later